So Les, great to see you back at the uh, Mazuma Stadium this afternoon for uh, another big game. Burton Albion, what do you what do you make of this one? Um, it's a big game for us today. I think we need three points. So with a massive crowd on today, if everybody gets behind us, it'll be fantastic, mate. Just three points. And touching on the fans, it promises to be another full house this uh, this afternoon. You know more than anyone the effect that the fans can have on the team. Well, we've been used to having quiet games. You know, the, some of the players that are still here from a couple of years ago, you know, there's only 2,000 on. To have nearly like 5,000, over 5,000 on today. Wow, it must be a great atmosphere later on. Let's hope so. And three points. And of course, the, just the noise that the fans make. I mean, even during difficult times, it really spurs the players on, doesn't it? You think so? Of course it does, yeah. You, you, you sit on the bench, you feel it. You feel everything that's going on. You know, and you know when the fans are quiet, they're not quite at it. But when they get going, mate, it's it's great atmosphere. And it's been nearly like that nearly every game this season. Well, that's great to see you doing well. And uh, fingers crossed for the win today. Everybody. <laughs> I think the fans have been brilliant this year. I've been at the club um, six, seven seasons. Um, I've played out there on a Tuesday night in league games where you're probably not more than eight, nine hundred there, if I'm being completely honest. Um, this year, I think they've been excellent. They've stood with the team throughout the season. Been difficult, been difficult over the last two, two, three months and uh, they're still coming in their numbers. So, no, just very grateful for their support and uh, we'll need it between now and the end of the season. We're, it's it's not going to be plain sailing. There's, there's going to be there's going to be ups and downs between now and then. It's how we react to it and... Uh, not were as a football club got to be in it together. Before we scored, we probably could have scored, you know, a few more goals, and uh, we're probably unfortunate not to have maybe a penalty kick on Adam Phillips as well in that first period. But uh, it was a, a performance that uh, I'm delighted with. I thought that uh, the way we passed the ball, the way we created chances, uh, is what we wanted to see. And then, you know, we scored, you know, three very good goals as well uh, with Arthur. 
uh, Adam Phillips uh, and obviously Cole Stockton as well. And uh, over the afternoon, we could have scored a lot more goals than that. It, uh, it was a, a terrific performance from us. bottom end of the, the table. We need a, a resilience and the players, you know, showed that in abundance tonight and uh, you know I was delighted for them because they put a lot of hard work into the game. As they did probably against you know the likes of Ipswich and Bolton as well and probably didn't get uh, the three points that we might have got. But uh, tonight, you know, we've been able to get that three points and uh, it lifts us out of the bottom four tonight. As a manager like to remind me after the game that's what I'm paid to do so <laughs> but listen you know it was just instinct um, you know it's obviously great to play a part you know I would be lying if I said I would rather have nothing to do and you know of course it's great to you know make save, big saves and you know and come out with three points there's nothing worse when you've made two or three good saves and you know you lose the game which has happened a couple of times this season but you know to get the get the win and you know be able to contribute with a couple of big saves and uh, you know I haven't seen it back but you know, by all accounts, it was a you know a good save. So I'll, look, I'll watch it back and uh, enjoy it tonight with with a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. 